In this tutorial, we'll create and edit a flight path in UC WinRoad. Flight paths are used to create animated flybys of your project or to set a travel path for animated models or characters. We'll start by creating a flight path for an animated flyby of our road here. This can be done in the 3D view by selecting Edit, Record Flight Path. Now every time I hit the spacebar, starting here, as I travel throughout my model, I'll create a turning point along a flight path. Create a couple changes in elevation and end my flight path here. To finish, select Edit, Record Flight Path, and you'll see a message saying that your flight path has been completed with the appropriate number of positions recorded. To edit each turning point along your flight path after you've created it, first make sure that flight paths are turned on in visual settings, and then select any node here along your flight path and adjust its height or position. When you're satisfied, select OK and hit the spacebar to deselect your flight path. To travel on your flight path, select Fly on Road, select your flight path from the list here, and add it to your flight path sequence. This you can customize after you create several flight paths and adjust the sequence to travel throughout your model. You can set the speed that you want to travel on your flight path and set the camera to roll or not roll. This will simulate a rolling maneuver as the camera travels along your flight path. Select OK and you'll start traveling along your flight path and you can see that the camera always faces forward as it travels along a flight path. You can set the, the camera to look at a specific object using waypoints and we'll demonstrate this in a future tutorial. To stop traveling along your flight path, select the cursor button here and you can continue moving with a 3D mouse or with any of the mouse controls. You can also edit a flight path through the plan view. To do this, zoom into your area here and your flight path will be shown with a white line here and you can see each node that you record in 3D view. You can edit it by right clicking, select Edit, Edit 3D Flight Path 1. And here I can rename it to whatever I want. And I can adjust each turning point in a vertical curve this way as well. Hitting the on ground button will take all of my points and put them flush on the ground. This is useful when creating flight paths for pedestrians, bicyclists, or other sorts of animated characters that you can set along a flight path, which we'll also demonstrate in another tutorial.